In this demo, we'll cover how Frame works in five steps. Now we start with the Frame platform, which is delivered as a service. This takes care of all brokering of connections between end users and their desktops, all automation and orchestration of VMs, and all integrations with other services such as storage and identity. So the first step is picking your infrastructure, and this can be in the public cloud or with your own private cloud. The second step is to choose how you want to authenticate and authorize your users for access to the system. In step three, you bring your applications and install them in what we call the sandbox or your gold master image. In step four, you decide how you want your users to connect to their files and storage. And finally, you decide how you want to deliver these applications and desktops to your users. So we'll cover these five steps in the following demo. First, you set up your infrastructure. With Nutanix, you can choose to use our public cloud accounts or set up your own private cloud with Nutanix AHV. You can also add your own public cloud AWS, Azure, or Google accounts. Just choose the regions you want to run in, enter in a project ID or similar for Azure and AWS, and you're all set. Now, when you go to create an account, you're going to see those cloud providers available to you. Next, let's talk about setting up your identity providers. With Frame, you have the flexibility to use our own built-in basic username and password identity provider, or you can set up sign in with Google just by entering in your Google domain, or you can set up any SAML2 provider. So that takes care of setting up your identity provider. Let's talk about apps next. So you install your applications in what we call a sandbox. It's essentially your gold master image, and I'll launch that here. You can see that's just running in a browser, and it's a full Windows operating system. And you install your applications like you would on a PC, and then onboard to Frame. In this case, I'm onboarding Paint. Uh, Frame detects that. I say OK. And now when we go back to our Frame dashboard, we're going to see Paint show up as an onboarded application. Now, before I can roll this out to users, I'm going to need to publish. Now, before publishing, I need to actually set some capacity. So I'll go in here to my capacity settings. I'll set a, some number of instances in my production pool, and we'll be ready to go. That takes us to step four, storage. With Frame, we make it easy to connect your public cloud storage accounts from Google Drive, Box, Dropbox, or OneDrive so that users can see their files within their Frame sessions. We can also store data within a user's enterprise profile. Just takes a single click to configure. Or similarly, we can set up personal disks for users. And of course, you can also configure file servers that you've set up separately for your frame users. This takes us to step five, delivering to your users. In most cases, we use what we call the launch pad to roll out apps to users. Here, I'll create an application launch pad which means I'm going to pick a subset of applications that I've onboarded to make available to a particular group of users. So I'll pick Chrome, uh, InDesign, Photoshop, Paint, which we onboarded earlier. And then I'll pick what instance type, what VM type, I want those users to have access to. I'll pick a custom background, and now we'll save that, and we can go take a look and preview what users will see. So here you can see the five apps that I've made available. And I'll go ahead and just click on Paint and launch that. It's going to power up a session, and we'll see Paint running in my browser. I'll go ahead and sketch something real quick. And now you can see those are the five steps it takes to get up and running with Frame. Now we always like to say, seeing is believing. So go to Nutanix.com frame to try out Frame today for free.